Okay, I'm uh, back with another video, and now that I finally have that issue with the 47 appearing on the output display, have that all sorted out, just wanted to make a quick video showing the new output register, the way it looks. So down here, this is the new output register with the two 74LS 173s, and aesthetically, it just looks better uh, having that 74LS 273 in here with the way the wiring, or with the way the pins were on on that particular chip, the uh, wires going to and from the bus had to be on either side of the chip and it just kinda didn't look quite as quite as neat as the new one. So with, uh, with these chips all the bus wires are able to connect just up here on top and then the wires that go out to the uh, EE prom for the output display are down here on the bottom so I was able to just route those at a nice uh, right angle there going up. So I just wanted to do a quick demo here of uh, the new uh, the new output display and I uh, want to mention also that I might have my issue with the bouncing on the manual pulse worked out. Um, it probably is. Somebody had commented, uh, Cole I think his name was, commented that I should just try a slightly higher value on the capacitor. So I haven't had a chance to look into that much yet, but I gave that a shot because that was an easy thing to change out. And that does seem to have uh, probably resolved the issue. I can actually feel in the uh, pulse button now, there's this just very slight delay when I let go of the pulse. So, um, so there's no chance of a... Of a a double pulse there from me pushing anything. But anyway, I've got the program loaded up, so let's just go ahead and step through it here. Got everything reset, so we're ready to go. So we'll pulse through our LD, our LDA cycle here. So we're on uh, T0, so that's going to be T1, T2, T3, T4, and now we're back around at the beginning. Now this is the add cycle. So we got T1, T2, T3, T4, and now we're back around again to the beginning, and this is the out cycle. So we're at T1, T2, and now we should get our answer on the output display, T3, T4, and now we're back around to the beginning. Now I've also done something here where um, instead of now just going into the halt cycle, I took the time last night to add an an another instruction to my EE prom, so it was pretty easy to do. Um, I added the subtract, the uh, subtract instruction, which is identical to the uh, the add instruction, except for one small change, which I'll show here on the uh, control signals when we get to it. So currently we're on T0 of the subtract. Now we're on T1 of the subtract, so that constitutes the fetch cycle. Now we're in uh, T2 of the subtract. And now we're in T3 of the subtract. And, and actually, so far, uh, T0, T1, T2, and T3 are identical to, to add. But now, when we get into T4, this is the only difference between the addition and the subtraction. If you look at the control signals down here, and again, due to light bleed on the LEDs, I don't know how well it shows up. But normally, we would have... Um, uh, I, I, let me see here. It's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I guess normally we would have A in and uh, sum out. That would be for that would be the last micro instruction for addition. But with the subtraction, we just add this uh, SU bit. So so instead of just having a in and sum out, we have a in sum out and the subtract bit is enabled. And that's the only difference. So it was a very easy uh, instruction to add to the EE proms. So now when I pulse to the uh, next step, we're once again back around to uh, T0 and now we're uh, again on the out cycle. So we have a duplicate cycle here. So uh, this will output the new answer to the display. And what I'm doing is 42 minus 15. So now we're going to go to T1, T2, 
two, and now we should see the answer. I think it's I always get I always get mixed up on this one, but I believe it's this instruction T three or rather T two. Yeah. So T two outputs the answer to the display, or rather T three outputs the answer to the, to the display, and now we're on T four, which does nothing. Now we come back around at the beginning, and this is the this is the halt cycle now. So pulse, 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 and we're halted. So yeah, uh, really good update there, and uh, you know the most the biggest thing I'm the most happy about is getting that output register resolved. But it also again appears like my uh, manual pulse is taken care of, which is another really uh, which is another really good update. I'm going to go ahead and run through that program uh, one more time. I'm just going to put it in. I'm going to let the clock run it though. So I'm going to turn the clock on and reset the breadboard computer so we can watch it step through the various instructions. And there we have it. So uh, I guess what I'm going to be working on next, hopefully, we'll be adding whatever remaining instructions there are into the EE proms. I know we still have to do the jump instruction. Um, haven't really looked into that yet, so off the top of my head, I'm not quite sure how to program that in. And there's a few other instructions as well that I think Ben has in the works in some of the upcoming videos.